this is a blue shark, and now this is one of the pelagic sharks that you're normally going to find further out from shore, at least in, in the mid-Atlantic. We consider them sort of a cooler water shark, and that in the mid-Atlantic area, we, we find them early in the season. Um, normally they're going to be in waters in the area where you might encounter a mako shark. And for the most part, the blue sharks, it's not difficult to tell them from other species, but sometimes anglers have a little confusion between blue sharks and makos, primarily because they have the blue color similar to a mako. Also, the nose is relatively pointed, where most other sharks have a more rounded nose. Okay, but primarily, if you're trying to distinguish between a mako and a blue shark, look for the fact that the blue shark, as you can see when his mouth is closed, you do not see the teeth. A mako, you're going to probably see the teeth there. Also, the blue shark is very long and skinny. Okay, so he's very, almost like a snake in the water. Okay, where a mako is going to have more of a girth to him, more robust. Um, also, if you look at the tail on the mako, it's got what they call a lunate tail, where the bottom lobe is long, the top lobe is about almost the same length. Okay, on the blue shark, it's more like most other sharks, where the top lobe is much longer than the lower lobe. And also on the blue sharks, you see the large pectoral fins here. So this is your average blue shark.